Hello, my name is Kirsty Lang. I am one of the restricted ACPs working here at Harrogate Hospital. This video is going to go through how to use the Venturi oxygen um, delivery devices that we use in the hospital, how to apply them to the oxygen port, and more importantly, how to apply it to the patient. So when you're making the decision that you need to switch your patient onto a Venturi, we have an array of um, options available to us, depending on what our patient's oxygen needs are. You have the blue one, which is the 24%, and you will see on the bottom of the device, it will tell you how many litres of oxygen that need to be um, delivered through the device. You will have the white one, which is our 28%, and that is a del delivers four litres through the um, oxygen. You'll have our 35%, which is the yellow one. And again, it details just below it how many litres, which is eight, that is required in order to deliver 35%. It then steps up to the red one, and this is our 40%, and that delivers, needs 10 litres in order to be able to deliver 40%. And then finally, our other one, last one is our 60%, which needs 15 litres minimum in order to deliver 60%. Once you're getting up to 40 and 60%, it becomes very drying for the patient. In order to um, commence them on the Venturi, you are also going to need a mask, just a simple face mask, which has um, not just the clear port on the bottom here, and you're going to need some oxygen tubing. You'll also need to make sure that when you come to your oxygen port, that you've got the right nipple device on the end of it so that you can connect the oxygen. We've got a patient here who we decided he's just dropped their SATs down to about 93, 92% and they have a target range of above 94. So we just want to give them a small amount of oxygen just to give them, get them up to within range while we await our medical review. So the options that I would typically go for would be kind of a 24 or 28% to start off with. So for the purpose of this video, we'll just start off at 24%. I will then get my simple face mask. I will open that up. And you'll see that you've got a green string, that elastic band that will go around the back of the patient. I will then get my blue one. I will just screw that onto the bottom there and you literally just push it on. I will then get hold of my oxygen tubing. And the oxygen tubing is the same at both ends, so it doesn't matter which um, end you attach to the bottom of your Venturi device. And you literally just push that on there and just make sure you've got a good seal. Now, just in case I'd forgotten how many litres needed to go through this, I would again just check and I can see I need two litres minimum. I will then unravel my tubing and come across the oxygen port. Now the key thing with our oxygen port is we need to make sure we've got the right nipple device on the bottom and I can see here that my oxygen tubing will fit lovely on the end there. I would then turn it up to two litres. Now often people can get confused where two litres is but where that would be is this is my one litre and my two litre is where the ball sits with the black line in the middle of the ball and you can then hear the oxygen flow through that. I would then, now I know that I've got the right amount of oxygen coming through, I would then go to my patient, explain what I'm going to do, then I'm going to pop an oxygen device onto them. And you have to make sure that you screw it on really tight. As you can see, it's just all popped up there. So it's always good just to give it a really good press on. So explain to your patient what you're going to do. I'm just going to pop this oxygen mask on. It may feel a bit strange, but you should just make you feel a bit more comfortable. So you just pop that onto your patient. You've got your elastics here and you can just tighten them around the face like that. And then I would recheck that their oxygen sats start to come up to their target range. If this was a patient who had target sats of 88 to 92, I would certainly start with the lower end of oxygen if their oxygen had um, sats had deteriorated if it just kind of dipped down to kind of the 86 87 mark obviously if they deteriorated further then you would be closely monitoring them and just making sure that the sats are coming up in order if you wanted to then if your patient wasn't responding to the um, venturi and and the lower percentage then you could simply swap your devices 
get them up to target range by, again, making sure that you come up to the right amount of oxygen delivery through the oxygen port and then just change your mask. I often would just take it off, just change my mask there, pop the device on simply like that, make sure I give it a good press, make sure I've got four litres, again, making sure my ball is in the, the black line is in the middle of the ball and then popping that back on my patient and rechecking their oxygen saturations again with a SAS probe.